Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we made it here to um, Slateport. Uh, did some, did a couple of uh, rematches, and now we're going to do the rest of the ones currently available to us. Most of them are on Route 110. So let's see. We're going to get the boulder out. Good. Let's see. Party Pokemon. Who am I not going to be using? Um, let's see. Actually, uh, for this, I'm not going to be using Elmo. So we're going to put Elmo back in. Oh, wait. Elmo, do you have something on you? Shift. All right, place. Party, Pokemon. Party, Pokemon, Elmo. Okay, we have to get out of here first, and I'll make sure Elmo doesn't have, like, the amulet coin on him or something. I should actually go sell some shit, too. No, he doesn't have anything on him. Good. All right. All right, so first, Lynette's PC, Pokemon storage system opened. Lynette's PC... Move Pokemon, the boulder, yeah, sorry, yeah, a lot of these guys I didn't wind up using. That That's how I tend to do things. I get a bunch of guys and then just don't, place. then don't actually use them. And I think we're good. All right, so the boulder's going to come with us for this uh, thing. All right, um, right, selling some stuff. All right, how may I serve you? Sell. No, I don't want to sell any TMs or berries or key items. I'm not even sure I could. Okay. All right, rare candy, elixir, antidote, revive, maxi. I really ought to try using this, but somebody, you know, somebody who needs to grow while they're fighting and doesn't. I don't care too much about speed. Uh, let's see, moonstone. I'm not going to use it, but eh. Some of this stuff might be useful. Max Revive, Sea Thunderstone, same, same there. I might get a Pikachu. Leafstone, Quick Claw, Hard Scale, keeping that. Iron, yes. All right, Protein, yes. And the Star Piece. All right. No, I'm good. Thank you. Normally I buy a lot more Pokeballs because actually normally I catch everything I see because I'm kind of a weird completionist, but... Alright, so we're going to start off on Route 110, um, and our first person is actually going to be Pokefan Isabel, who had the Plusle and the Minin. Let's see. Mike and it at least resists them, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Ha <laughs> ha I would be happy to show off my Pokemon as often as you'd like. Yeah, in the remakes, basically, all you have to do once with rematches is, like, you know, leave the route for a while and come back and they're ready, practically, especially with this lady. Um, in this one, it is a little... She only has two rematches. Oh, it's not a double battle. Um, Pokemon. Oops. I forgot. Alright, uh, yeah, let's just shift the boulder in. I was thinking she was like the twins, which was dumb. Magnitude. Really? It failed? Oh, no, that was the... Magnitude 4. Well, that's still gonna hurt. Not that much, actually. Eh. Magnitude again. Quick attack. Yeah, not very effective. Better. Very nice. Very nice. Alright. She's going to send out her Minun. We'll stay out. Aren't you cute? Magnitude! Quick attack. Yeah, that's really not helping you. 
Dude! Ready to get this over with, are you, Boulder? I must have woken him up from a nap. Alright. Alright. Oh dear, this won't do. Let's see. And now I've completely forgotten. We're going this way. I have completely forgotten what lombre are uh, weak to. Ah, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Oh. <sighs> Let's see. I mean... <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're weak to flying. I think. Yeah, because water doesn't actually resist flying, so far as I know. All these wild Poochiena. Okay. Uh, let's just put uh, Harlan in front. Take the item coin off. Take the amulet coin off Mike and Ed. Give it to Harlan. I probably ought to teach Amethyst Thief. I don't think she ever learns any dark type moves. Right. Hi, have you caught any new Pokemon? Could I see your Pokemon? Just one look, please. Can I see your Pokemans? All right. Lombre, I believe, yeah, the, the flying is not resisted by their water type, so. Nice. Absorb. Harlan being a fire type is not exactly weak to that grass move. They're not weak to fire, of course, because they've also got the water type. And Strife grew to level 24. And he's got a Nuzleaf. Harlan will stay out. Yeah, if, I mean, once Strife gets higher, I will probably... I don't know. I mean... I don't know why I'm... Actually, maybe I won't bother with Strife any further. It just suddenly hits me. Uh, double kick. That I've actually already got my um, Elite Four team planned out. And Strife... As long as I can get, like, Ice Fang on Bruce... Um, well, I don't know. The boulder is actually coming along. It's part of the reason I brought him on this trip. Harlan's trying to do quick attack? I don't think so. No. I'm gonna see. Let's just check. Uh. Okay, he's got double kick, aerial ace, and ember. No. I mean, I might put that in for um, cut when I finally get rid of it, but yeah. your Pokemon, I envy you. Alright, nobody's. Now, this guy's there. Uh, let's see. This is a little silly, but I don't want to deal with any more, um... I really ought to just take that experience share off. Alright, Mobile. Because there's a, a fair amount to go. Alright. Alright, let's see. How do I get out of here? Nope, wrong way. Alright. We are going to fight triathletes, is what we're going to do. And they've, they've both got Magnemite, um, which Harlan could deal with them. But I got the boulder out because he does need experience, and I'm going to take that off you. And give it to the boulder. And I am going to take the experience share off Strife because as I realized... As much as an Altaria would be kind of nice, it's... He's not gonna fit in my Elite Four team, so... Oops. 
Oh well, it's not like anybody's actually, you know, behind right now, so. Amethyst is a little behind, which is why I'm giving her the experience share. But other than that, I think she's fine. Alright, so, triathletes. Two of the triathletes. He's not a triathlete. Isn't it neat to hold a battle while cycling? Yes, yes it is. Abigail, she still has a Magnemite, so does the other triathlete. Go the boulder. Magnitude! <laughs> nice. Yeah, magnitude 7. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, there's one other male triathlete that he also has a Magnemite, so. Wow, how could you be so strong? I'm very good at what I do, lady. Yeah, speed alone won't let me when I need Pokemon. I need to reconsider this. Yeah, yeah. A lot of these people are going to be saying the things they would have said if I'd talked to them. Aren't you going a little too fast? Take it easy and let's battle. If you talk to a person after you've beaten them, they often say something. Which I've never really been bothering to do. Oops. Alright. Yeah, this Magnemite's a little higher level. But I think... Oh, this could be a thing. Come on, Boulder. Ha! Come on, Boulder! Damn. Well, you know what to do. Use it. Right. Sonic boom. That hurt. Nope. Oh, no. Fight. Magnitude. Good. Magnitude 6? Yeah. It still worked. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna go back to Mauville. Our next two fights are on Route 118 and Route 119. Wow. Well, I didn't panic, but I still lost. Well, actually, given everything, hmm. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna go to Mauville and heal. Or maybe I won't. Let's see. Who else have we got? We've got one fight back. Um, all right. Let's see. Well, no, I am going to Mauville because we, we're not going to need the boulder anymore. So he got some nice XP. That's very good. So first I'll heal him. Yes. We're going to go to Oldale Town uh, and to Route 102. Youngster Calvin wants to fight us again. Thank you for waiting. Yes, we hope to see you again. And let's see, pen booted up the PC. Which PC should be accessed? Lynette's. Ah, oh, dang it. No, first. <sighs> the boulder has the amulet coin. Let's take that off of him. All right. Now let's put the boulder in the PC. Elmo, move him. And shift. Place. As useful as Strife might be, Bruce will probably be more so. Alright. Let's see. So, we're actually going to... Let's see. That's Old Dale Town. That's Route 103. That's Route 101. That's Route 102. So, uh, Petalburg. We'll fly to Old Dale. We're gonna fight, um... Yeah, Youngster Calvin. Uh, let's see. We need to put Harlan in the front. Switch. Hmm. 
Oh, wait. Duh. Uh, Harlan? Item. Give. And amulet coin. Hey, look. There are gonna be... I'm gonna spend a lot on potions eventually. So, you know. Should be this gentleman. Ever since I lost you, I desperately trained my Pokemon. You can't say no to my challenge. Don't want to. I'm gonna just, you know, stomp your stomp a whole a mud hole in your mighty Yina's ass. Alright. Ah, yes, okay. Intimidate. Cuts Harlan's attack. Uh, double kick. Yeah. It's super effective. We still didn't one-shot it, but that's okay. Odor Sleuth. That's really not going to help you, because I'm going to double kick you again. All right. Yep, Mighty Ina fainted. Amethyst gained XP. Yay. Arg, I lost. Is my training method not right? <sighs> All right. Now we're going to fly back to Mauville. I'm not even going to bother healing. It would only be PP. Now there's an Aroma Lady on um, Route 118 we're going to fight. And then... And she, of course, I believe it's this lady. Were you drawn here by the sweet aroma? No, I was drawn here by the battle. She's got a Shroomish and a Roselia, still. Now, most of these people will have a second rematch for you later on, so keep that in mind. This is not the only time you're going to fight them. It's super effective! I might see about, like, teaching him Flamethrower or something if I have to. No, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, Harland had his energy drain fight, Ember. I think we will manage to get back to the plot today. We've only got one more rematch. And I will probably fly to Fortree, ditch Strife in the PC, and maybe just get the boulder out. I don't know. All right. So, yes, surf across here. Yeah. Somewhere on this uh, route is, uh, oh, I know where they are. They're way at the top, so, um, yeah. Okay, then. Okay, Amethyst is trying to learn Faint Attack, and yes. Um, we're going to get rid of Fake Out. Because Dark Type, it strikes without fail. Let's see. Fairy Swipes only has 18, but Fake Out... It, it keeps failing every time I try and use it, so we're going to get rid of that. I might get Astonish instead of Fury Swipes, but... We'll see. All right. All right. All right, let's see. So, um, I'm not sure if this lady, uh, let's see, who am, who's in the front? Harlan. Um, let's see, bag. I'm surprised she isn't, wasn't on our thing. So, uh, let's give Harlan a paralyze heal. Um, and let's check our match call and see if, uh, you know, 
maybe she she is now. Okay. So let's see. Near as I can tell, we should only have one. Yeah, Pokemon Ranger Catherine. She can, but she's not ready to give us a a rematch, so. We talk to Pokemon Ranger Jackson. He has a Breloom. Which, uh, let's see, who do I have in front? Harlan? Yeah. Harlan's gonna ruin that thing's day. I am going to regain my wild spirit by being together with Pokemon. I am going to, uh, beat your Breloom into a nice mushroom sauce. Why do I record these things before lunch? All right. Harlan, Aerial Ace. I think, I think that's a quad weakness. <laughs> yeah, it's the only problem. All right. Yeah, so Mike and Hid will never fight flying types. All right. All right, now we're going to fly. Strife, fly us to Fortree. Fortree. Man, I miss the remakes, where you could, you get a Latios or a Latias really early, and at that point you basically, um, can you go anywhere without having to use Fly? It's nice. Okay, really early. I mean, about, probably about when we hit route, where we met Steven in this game. Why do I keep doing that? The boulder. Move. Yeah, I don't think that why not's just gonna be a thing for me. There. Shift. Alright. Good. Alright then. Alright, so now we're actually just gonna head out of town. Dude. You can rematch gym leaders, but I don't think that happens until like the very end. All right, so we come across here, around here, down there, down there, across the bridge. We're now heading on basically with the game. And this area is in constant rain. That powers up, that means moves like Thunderbolt never miss. Uh, it powers up water type moves. So yeah, all right, this guy is Bird Keeper Colin. Um, you know what he is. Elmo. Let's uh, take the. No, not give. Item. Take. Give it to Elmo. Item. Yeah. Right. All right then. Do you have any moves that can strike a flying Pokemon? I do. Well, no, not really. See, fly can be moved, used in battle, and basically for one turn, the Pokemon is mostly invulnerable. There are some moves that can hit a Pokemon in the middle of fly. Thunderbolt. I'm not sure if Thunderbolt can hit a Pokemon in the middle of fly if it's raining. I don't care. <laughs> All right. No. Now there's a team battle coming next. We're gonna need the boulder, actually. I think. Hmm, maybe not. It's a Manectric, so the boulder would be super useful against it. But it'll also be weak to the cast form's weather ball, so. Eh, Elmo's go gonna stay in, so, yep, Elmo's. Wow. Yep, defeated Bird Keeper Colin. You soared above me. Yep, yep, I did. All right, come through here. All right, let's see. Right, so these two are a double battle. So let's, and you can avoid that switch. The, should I switch the boulder? Yeah, he needs more levels, and I think he'll be fine. 
You could avoid it by talking to them each individually, but... If anyone of the picture of beauty will be ruined... Uh, sorry. Your party Pokemon. Do you have different types? I do. He's a cool trainer. Cool trainers are basically a lot like us. They tend to have different types. If they have more than one. Go, Elmo and the Boulder. Alright. It is raining. Yes. So we're going to see the cast form change form. The cast form is now rainy day. The rainy form. Which is not going to help it much when it gets thunderbolted. The boulder is... Crud. Mm, roll out that Manectric. Ah, I forgot. Magnitude will also hit Elmo. Oh well. Alright, some nice XP and the boulder gained a level. Good. Good. Thunder wave. Uh, almost paralyzed. Joy and rapture. Later on, uh, electric types are immune to paralysis, which is pretty nice. <laughs> Static paralyzed the boulder and may be unable to move. Well, that'll be interesting. Rain continues to fall. Right. Strength. Okay. Yeah, that at least did some damage. Okay. Strength. Uh, Boulder, actually, I'm going to use a Paralyze Heal on Elmo. I'll use one on the Boulder next turn. Yeah, the, I should have seen that coming. Oh, whatever. Thunder! Excuse me, it's Thunder that becomes uh, a one-hit KO in Rain. Not Thunderbolt. Thunder's nasty. Just strength. The boulder, fight. Try a rock throw. Quick attack. Really, why do you keep attacking the boulder with that? Alright. There. And Elmo got some XP, the boulder got some XP, Amethyst got a lot of XP. Alright. You've completely ruined my beauty. I've seen your policy in action. Alright. So, um... Dude. Bag. Paralyze heal, use. One on Elmo. Boulder. Okay. And now we're going to uh, do some switching of our people. Because we've got a... Let's see. Switch Harlan to the front. Because we've got a uh, Ninkata and a Coughing and a Meditite and a Makahita. So, um... Hmm. Elmo, can you do anything against... Electrix isn't that good against Bug, really. So, uh, Bruce. Switch Bruce to the front. And take, again, the amulet coin. Give it to Harlan. This way I get to buy all sorts of stuff when I need it. Alright. Alright. And we ninja conceal ourselves under our camouflage cloaks. I bet you didn't know where I was. Totally did. If you don't pay attention, you could get hurt. Crud. I'm... This ran a little longer than intended. Well, I'll save and quit after I beat these two. Ninja Boy, Riley, and Nikita. Freaking metatite. We may be here a while. This is going to be a little different, though. Good. I love Bruce. Fight. Harlan is going to aerial ace the bug. Bruce is going to bite the, the uh, metatite. 
Yeah, it's super effective. Didn't cost punching. Well, mind reader. That's fine. Aim at Harlan. I hope to kill you next turn. Pfft. Okay, sure. Because I'm gonna switch targets. Aerial Ace. Now you're gonna do the Meditate, and Bruce is going to Dragon Rage that bug. Dragon Rage's typing is kind of useless because it always does 40 points of damage regardless. And he sends out a coughing. All right. Amethyst grew to level 30. Very nice. So I won't teach her thief after all. all right. The rain continues to fall. Yes, yes. Aerial Ace on the Makuhita. Bruce, Dragon Rage the Coffin. I have a very fast Gyarados. Good grief. Smoke screen, Bruce's accuracy fell. Yeah, yeah. Rain continues to fall. Ember, Bruce, just bite it. Yeah, I figured that is what would happen. Should have used tackle. I'm trying to get rid of that. And Ninja Boy Riley and Battle Girl Kelly were defeated. Yay! I lost! I should camouflage my shame. Ouch! I was the one to get hurt. Alright. So, we find a revive. Let's see. And we've got a ways to go on this route, so I'm gonna save it here. Yes, I would. Yes, it is. Alright. So... Thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye. So, uh, last episode we saw a TM for a move called Hidden Power. Since I didn't see anybody whose design really grabbed me today, I thought this would be a good place to go into detail on it, since I don't have time in the episode, really. Hidden Power is an odd move. It's categorized as normal type, but that's actually the only type it can't be. Its power and type changes depending on the Pokemon it's taught to. Although, weirdly enough, because it's considered normal by the type chart, it will always be affected by counter and not mirror coat, even if the move itself is of a special type. In this generation. These powers are based on the Pokemon's IVs, which are basically their stats. Well, they're the roots of their stats. We don't actually have a way to see those in this game. We can approximate them, thanks to the calculator made by Metal Kid, but they'll only be 100% accurate if our Pokémon were level 100, which they're not. Still, let's see what we can figure out, shall we? Okay, we're going to use the boulder as our guinea pig. Going to the Pokémon summary, we see his stats. Going to the stat calculator, we plug those in and get a range of values. Yeah, the lower your level, the less perfectly the calculator can figure out the values. Some of my Pokemon returned flat-out impossible results, so it's a thing. And now, we have math. I promise you are allowed to use your calculators, and this isn't that difficult. Most of it's arithmetic, and the calculator will handle that. However, this is computer math, and so the values we're looking for are the least significant bits, i.e. whether the integer is odd or even. So at this point, we're going to have to guess. Our HP range has two odd values and one even, so we're going to assume it's odd and the least significant bit is one. Same with attack. Defense has equal odds, so we'll just take a guess and say it's one as well. Special attack has higher odds of being even, so we'll set its value to zero. Same for special defense. And speed could go either way, so to be fair and balanced, we'll set it to zero too. So now we plug it into the formula. Don't worry, this is the bit you do on your calculator. 1 plus 2 plus 4 equals 7, times 15 is 105, divided by 63 is 1 and 2 thirds. Round down to the nearest whole number, and you get 1. If all our guesses are right, we have a flying-type hidden power. 
What if we guessed wrong on the two even odds? Well, that would be 1 plus 2 plus 32, giving us 35. Times 15 is 525. Divided by 63 gives us 8 and a third, rounding down to 8. So a fire type hidden power. Now, starting in Diamond and Pearl, there are NPCs who can look at a Pokemon and tell you what, kind, what type its hidden power would be, if the Pokemon can learn it. As near as I can tell, however, no such person exists in Pokemon Emerald. Damage calculation is a similar formula, but uses the second least significant bit, which is a bit more interesting to determine. Divide your value by 4. If the remainder is 0 or 1, the bit value is 0. If it's 2 or 3, the bit value is 1. Doing that, and using the same odds process as before, gives us these numbers. Defense's odds were equal once again, hence the orange notation. So plug these numbers into the power formula. 8 plus 32 gives us 40. Multiply by 40, that gives us 1600. Divide by 63 and we get 25 and some change. Add 30 and round down and we get 55. That's our attack power. If we take the other value for defense, we get 57. In Gen 3, attack power for hidden power is always between 30 and 70. The odds on what type of hidden power you get aren't actually equal either. The math gets a little obscure. Go look it up on Bulbapedia if you're into that kind of thing. What it boils down to, though, is that dark is extremely rare, while the selection is slightly weighted in favor of fighting bug and grass. If you're playing a later game and can check out things with the NPCs, it might be worth your time. In this game, honestly, it's just too much of a crapshoot for me. It's pretty interesting, though.